Hello, welcome to Einstein's Mechanics. In this episode, we are going to talk about capacitors in parallel arrangement. So we are going to look at how to charge capacitors or how to arrange them in a circuit when we are interested in the parallel arrangement. So this is a diagram of our circuit. We have a voltage source which has the positive and the negative terminals. Now we know the symbol for capacitor, which is this form. It is quite different from the voltage source symbol. So down here we have three capacitors arranged in parallel arrangement. Are we okay? So now we can see how we will charge these capacitors. Now let's assume if current is or charge is flowing this way this charge one is going to distribute itself among capacitor one capacitor two and capacitor three and they will come to form the same charge one over here so the fact that the charge is distributing itself among the capacitors indicates that this arrangement is parallel arrangement are we okay so let's look at how we will be able to calculate the capacitance of these three capacitors now let's say we have a charge moving through this circuit are we okay let's call it charge q now this charge is going to distribute itself in capacitor one we are going to have q1 in capacitor 2 let's call it q2 and in capacitor 3 we will call it q3 now the first capacitor has a capacitance c1 and the second one is also having capacitance c2 the third one is having capacitance c3 so what we are interested in is to now combine the capacitance of these three capacitors to form a single capacitor so that its effect will be the same as the three capacitors this is what i'm talking about so we want to have a circuit where the same voltage is going to produce the same effect if we have just one capacitor so this capacitor here is going to represent the equivalent capacitance are you okay of all the three capacitors in figure one so this is the voltage source, negative and positive. So how do we find this equivalent capacitance from this three? What we know is that in parallel arrangements, in parallel arrangements or in parallel connection, there is same what? Voltage. When you check out for the episode on how to find the total resistance of resistors in parallel arrangement, you will know that the voltage across each parallel arranged resistor is the same. So the same thing is happening in capacitors. If capacitors are in parallel, there is equal voltage across each of them. So we have it in mind, same voltage. We also know that the capacitance of a capacitor C is going to be the charge on voltage. We have this equation one. We are going to deduce the formula to find the equivalent capacitance if we have two or more capacitors in parallel. Now, we can see that from this formula, our K O is going to be what? C V. And when you check from the diagram, figure one, you can see that the Q coming is distributed across resistor or capacitor one, two, and three. Therefore, the total Q, the total Q is going to be summation of the charge passing through capacitor one plus the charge passing through capacitor two plus the charge passing through capacitor three. Are you okay? Now we know that from capacitor one, our Q1 is going to be C1, the same voltage. 
Now, our Q2 is going to be the capacitance of the second one, the same voltage. The same thing happens to Q3 is going to be C3, the same voltage. Let's call this equation two. Now, if we are going to put in this Q1, Q2, and Q3, we are going to see that our Q is going to be C1V plus C2V plus C3V. We also have Q given here. Now, let's call this C as the C equivalent. Are we okay? So meaning Q is going to be C equivalent and voltage, which is equal to C1 V plus C2 V plus C3 V. Now, what do we see in this equation? We can see that we have the same voltage across the equation. So can we say we have C equivalent V equal to now V will come out C1 C2 plus C3 equal to that. If we divide both sides by V, then our equation is going to be the equivalent capacitance of the three will be the summation of the capacitance of the first one plus the capacitance of the second one plus C3. So this is our final equation. So if capacitors are in parallel connection or arranged in parallel form the equivalent capacitor is just the summation of the individual capacitance of each capacitor are you okay therefore for n number of capacitors if we have n number of capacitors say 10 or 20 then our equivalent capacitance for parallel arrangement is going to be c1 plus c2 plus the number of up to cn very simple so if they are in parallel just sum the capacitance of each of them and we will get the equivalent capacitor this is similar to resistors in series you also sum the resistances of them let's try an example and see so example one two capacitors 10 microfarad and 20 microfarad are connected in parallel. Now, what is the equivalent capacitance? And the B part says a potential difference of 250 volts is applied to the combination. Find the charge on each capacitor. Very simple. So straight away, let's see. We have two capacitors and the capacitance, we have C1 is going to be 10 microfarad. We have our C2, the capacitance of the second capacitor is 20 microfarad. From the B part, we saw that a potential difference of 250 volt is applied to the con combination, meaning V is going to be what, 250 volts. We can try to get a diagram from this such that this will be this is our voltage source and we have the capacitors in parallel arrangement that is going to be this way first capacitor is here the second capacitor is also here and we have our circuit this way so this is c1 this is c2 and this is our v are you okay so if capacitors are in parallel arrangement, we know that the same voltage is across the C1 and C2. So our equivalent, let's see this be the equivalent capacitance. So this will be the equivalent capacitance, meaning a single capacitor which can produce the same effect as the two of them and for parallel arrangement if capacitors are in parallel arrangement then our c equivalent is c1 plus c2 plus up to cn 
So here we have only two. So C equivalent is going to be the capacitance of the first one, which is 10 microfarad. So that is going to be 10 microfarad plus the second one, which is also 20 microfarad. So that is going to give us our C equivalent to be equal to 30 microfarad. Are we okay? So the equivalent capacitance of the two is 30 microfarad. Now the B part, it says the potential difference of 250 is applied to the combination. Find the charge on each capacitor. Remember, if the charge is coming, it is going to distribute itself among the capacitor Q1 and Q2. So we should find the charge Q1 and charge Q2. So we also know that the charge on a capacitor is equal to the capacitance multiplying the voltage. Are we okay? So if we want charge one, the charge on the first capacitor, what is the capacitor? That is 10 micro, which is 10 to the power negative six. And what is the voltage across it? We have 250 volts across each of them because of the parallel arrangement V1 is equal to 250, and the voltage across the second one is also 250. So this is by 250, and we are going to get the charge on the first capacitor as 2.5 to the power negative 3 coulombs. Now, the charge on the second capacitor is also going to be C2V where C2 is 20 to the power negative 6, and the voltage is also 250. So this is going to give us 5 to the power negative 3 coulombs. Are we OK? So meaning the charge on capacitor 1 is 2.5 millicoulombs, and the one on capacitor 2 is also 5 millicoulombs. Now let's look at example 2. Example 2. Capacitors of 2 microfarad and C, or the second one is also 6 microfarad, are connected in parallel. Determine the equivalent capacitor. This is so simple and straightforward. Now we have two capacitors. Let's call the C1. Let it be 2 microfarad. Let our C2 be 6 microfarad. Now we are to determine the equivalent capacitance. We can let C this be the equivalent capacitance. We can also have a diagram for this arrangement. So let's say this is our voltage source. And we have our two capacitors in parallel. So this is capacitor one, this is capacitor two, and this is our arrangement. Are we okay? So this is C1, this is C2, this is our voltage source. Now, our C equivalent for parallel arrangement is going to be. C1 plus C2. That is going to give us 2 microfarad plus 6 microfarad. And together we are going to get the capacitance equivalent to be 8 microfarad. So what this means is we can have a circuit in this form with this voltage source, the same voltage source V from the first diagram to combine a single capacitance of 6 or 8 microfarad. So this diagram or this figure will produce the same effect as the arrangement here because we are using the same capacitor with the same capacitance as compared to the first one. Are you okay? So this is the episode on parallel arrangements of capacitors. Subscribe to the channel, like the videos, check out for the next episode for the series arrangements of
of capacities. Thank you.